Russians set out to liberate Bryansk Oblast from Putin's regime. Andriy Yusov, a representative of Ukraine's defense intelligence, believes that the events in Bryansk Oblast of the Russian Federation indicate that Russians are beginning to fight against the regime of Vladimir Putin. Yusuf predicts that such uprisings may happen again. It is a fact that the full-scale invasion by Putin has caused a deepening of problems within the so-called Russian Federation itself. Russia is an unstable entity within which there are a huge number of complex, unresolved issues, contradictions and conflicts, inter-regional, inter-ethnic, religious, social, political and others. And the fact that today the citizens of the Russian Federation in a certain area rose to overthrow Putin's regime is actually a natural development after the invasion of Ukraine, he said. According to Yusuf, all of Russia is an artificial entity, so it is not surprising that such uprisings happen. He predicts that this is neither the first nor the last such unrest. The intelligence representative believes that the events in Bryansk Oblast are the beginning of the liberation of their own country by Russians and atonement for the crimes of the Russian Federation and Putin. He believes that such events will ultimately lead to the transformation and democratization of Russia, the destruction of Putin's regime and the bringing of criminals to justice. As a representative of the defense intelligence of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine states, Russians may now realize that the war has come not only to every Ukrainian's home, but also to every Russian. On the 2nd of March, the governor of Russian Bryansk Oblast, bordering Ukraine, reported that allegedly a Ukrainian Ukrainian sabotage and reconnaissance group infiltrated into the oblast, took civilians hostage and fired at a car. At the same time, Ukraine's border guards reported that the situation on the border with Russia is under control. Information suggesting that there is some Ukrainian reconnaissance and sabotage group on the territory of the Russian Federation is an informational provocation by the aggressor country. Later, the Russian Volunteer Corps declared that it was not a Ukrainian reconnaissance and sabotage group, but their soldiers who entered the territory of the Russian Federation on the 2nd of March to show that free Russian people with weapons in their hands can fight against Putin's regime. 